From its earliest days, Alaska has been a magnet for a contrary brand of outsiders looking to be left alone. Today, their 21st century heirs still resent any intrusion into their lives. Distrust of the lower 48 and its federal government thrives in this individualistic and libertarian crowd, along with conspiracy theories. In 1993, the Department of Defense selected this lonely spot, 175 miles north of Anchorage, to build its High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, or HARP. Soon after, Alaska's conspiracy blogosphere exploded. The U.S. government was accused of using HARP's array of 180 72-foot-tall silver towers for everything from disabling satellites, to causing earthquakes, to controlling the weather, to controlling mines. The DOD's promises that the array is actually being used for a benign study of the outer atmosphere did little to stop the chatter, even though it's not the first time space-minded scientists have been drawn to Alaska's unique environment or its unique position on the Earth. Here on Kodiak Island's narrow cape, scientists even found a perfect spot to build a gateway into space. The Alaska Aerospace Corporation's Kodiak Launch Complex. This spaceport was built by the state of Alaska itself and is used by both the U.S. government and private corporations to launch unmanned rockets and satellites. First, they are loaded inside this 17-story tower and then moved outside just before launch. Since the Kodiak Launch Complex sits right next to the Pacific Ocean, it's the perfect and safest place to launch satellites into polar orbits, like many of the weather and communication satellites we rely on today. But not all scientists come to Alaska to train their eyes on the skies. Some are here to learn survival skills for an epic journey across miles of ice. High in the mountains above Juneau, a group of young scientists is preparing for a very cold scientific quest. They're about to embark on a 90-mile, eight-week research trip through the Alaskan wilderness to Atlin, British Columbia. But they're going to get there on skis by crossing the Juneau Ice Field. Since 1948, the Juneau Ice Field Research Program has been sending young scientists like these out onto the ice. They're here to pursue wilderness studies in fields such as geology, climatology, biology, and glaciology. This is their first stop, known as Camp 17. They will spend the next few days in this rugged outpost, learning the techniques that will help them to survive the rest of the trip, like how to avoid falling into a crevasse, and how to climb back out if you do. Out here, teamwork and strong arms are the key to survival. Once they finish learning the ropes, these hardy apprentice researchers will move on across the ice field. They'll join the ranks of thousands of other adventurous scientists drawn to Alaska over the years, eager to explore and understand the state's wonders. 